So Master Wong, with your, well, within your system, with regards to, to your multiple attack stuff, are there any particular, like, definite don'ts, like, you do not do this? It's all the time it comes down to you. Yeah. Know your enemy. Second, you have to know him and you. Yes. If you may be your worst enemy, you may be like your little prick that, that, that think that you're very good, and next thing you know, when the time. <laughs> Don't hit me! <laughs> you know what I mean? You never fucking know. Fair enough. You know, you may be your worst asshole. You never know. And you definitely you need to know your enemy. Yeah, yeah. And second thing is, you need to understand about your surrounding. Okay? Because if you're the place, you see that everybody's shooting and killing each other, you go there. Na 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 na. Nobody's shooting me. And then some cunt fucking blow you up and they see them crying out, but why? If your mum or dad or whatever, my son is dead, why am I fucking son? It's go to the wrong place at the wrong motherfucking time. Mm -hmm. And the second thing about this, if when you argue with people, you need to know your people and the surrounding. If the people are there already, it got dodgy people and surround, surround the area is bad, and you argue with them, you are the rest of people fucking dying. Yeah, yeah. And then it comes down to your ability. When that time come and forget about all this, can you really do something? And it's go ask yourself a basic question, do you know yourself? Yeah, so I suppose if you don't really, if you're not too sure, then it's best to try and talk yourself out of it, or just run the fuck away. Yeah? What did I say all the time on that word? Yeah, run the fuck away. When you have doubt, when you, you doubt, need a fucker just, out, yeah, yeah. because you don't do it. Yeah, so all go back to your ability, know your surrounding, Understand about your enemy, so you know who you'll come again. If the guy up there, out there, tattooed, smoking cigar, yeah, drinking alcohol, or popping, oh, popping the fucking cocaine, and then you go there and give him fucking problem, he will fucking eat you up and put in a plate and feed to his dog. So you need to know what you will come again. Instead of, I know Marshall doesn't mean you can go up there and try to face him. Yeah, of course. Marshall come very close to the town. You might never use him when the town comes. So that's where do and done. Cool, thank you. What's your question? Yeah, obviously we've seen, all, we've seen all the different situations of multiple attacks, Master Wong. And specifically, I'd like to ask you about me. If I end up in a situation of multiple attack, is it different for me because of my size? It's not very difficult for anyone. Anybody can do it. It depends what the problem is. If you've been shacking 10 of that fucking guy and there are 10 of them coming in trying to eat you alive, you got no motherfucking John. Even if you got some machine gun, an AK-47, you're still dead. They're gonna eat you up. You understand that? So you have to understand the basic rules. When the multiple attack, you need to understand that why you get into that situation. Why? Why are you there? Why do you have multiple people surround you? Why I fuck his wife? Exactly that! So he you said got the guys. He said you fucked ten guys, not their wives. So this is the problem, you see? This is why you got a problem. So you make sure your asshole got to be titanium because you're gonna get shot. So not just multiple attack, multiple banging. So this is where it comes down to. Know yourself. Understand about your ability and know your surrounding. Okay? If you understand all that, then you can able to defend yourself. Would the principles be the same? Like once he engages, it's like yes. it's the same. Yes, you've got to understand about what you're good at and use what you're good at. There's no point jump, turn, hard, heel, kick, or go down and doing something that you're not able to do in every day. You have to do If you're doing grappling people all the time and slam them, that's the best thing to do. Somebody come along, boom, boom, grapple, ah, dead. Next one, boom, boom, ah, dead. Boom, boom, ah, dead. Then that's it, you're done. You, 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 you don't need to do anything else. You, if you're very good at pissing on their head too much, boom, boom. He might be trying himself, maybe people aren't pissing him. You can do whatever you want, it's all about you. I don't know what your strength is. That's why it comes down to know yourself. Do you know yourself enough? Or you don't? Is that, is that the question? Is that answer yeah, your question? That's yeah, yeah, that's perfect, thank you. Yeah? It's all individual. It's all individual. And ask yourself the question, why you get a multiple attack? Why you're there? Why is you there in the first place? Let's get real here. Don't think that you can beat 10 people up because a lot of time in the real time coming in, you get the wrong place at the wrong time, you have to be uh, prepared. That's why you need to know your surrounding. Another thing you understand, if you go up there and already do a lot of dodgy stuff, beat the people up, you will ask for trouble. 
Okay, for you to defend that, you need to make sure the whole body have the bloody camera up your asshole, come on your back, come on your head, come on everywhere to keep an eye on everybody. Because they will come at you and you don't know when they'll come. To when you have a too much time smoking or taking truck or do whatever you're doing, the shacking, whatever you're doing, they come for you. So this is the question. If you've got any more questions, come to speak to me. I might give you a soul truth that you don't want to fucking listen to. But that is what is it? Is the answer to the question fair? Are you watching through all the movements that I just showed you through onto the multiple attack, onto different variation of basic understanding of it? The basic movement of multiple attack is not as simple as you think. Many things you need to go through to understand, to learn, to all able to use your opponent movement and everything else. On this training here, I only show you a little bit of idea, a bit of taster of what is it. But if you're really interested and learning and want to know more about the training side, I highly recommend you to do the training course with me. And I will be your tutor. I will be there every step of the way to help you to achieve your goal. If you're interested on the training, they've got many things to update to keep you up to date on everything that you need. And if you're interested, I highly recommend you to do the course. And I hope that one day I will see you on a training course and help you to do all the things that you need to do and achieve what you want to do. I hope to see you on the training course one day.